As a professional light tackle guide, I depend on the very best equipment for every fishing trip. Another small Spanish. For near shore trolling for bluefish and Spanish mackerel, I depend on croc swivels. Croc swivels utilize all stainless steel construction. Unequaled strength to size ratio, unique one-piece bodies, and ultimate dual rotation. What I'm using here on this one line is a, it's a, it's a top water rig, and this is a gotcha troll. I'm sure most of you have heard about gotcha rigs. They're real popular on piers and uh, from the surf and, and jigging from boats but this is a gotcha troll and uh, this has worked very well for us lately I'm using it in combination with about once again about 30 feet of leader and this Sea Striker Seabird rig now at the back here to keep my line from twisting I've got the croc swivel croc snap swivel that attaches right to the back of the bird and I've got another croc swivel right up front here to keep the line from twisting on both sides. And what this bird does is it rides along and it splashes and this chartreuse color acts as an attractant and it really helps bring fish up, bring fish up and catch their attention. And once the bird catches their attention, the gotcha troll will actually catch the fish as it goes on. Croc swivels have unequaled strength to size ratio. Yeah, that's a little bit better fish right there. What I'm using on this one in particular is this Clark spoon. It's a silver Clark spoon with a little bit of uh, chartreuse flash tape on it. And that seems to be working real well. And I've got about 30 feet, about 30 feet of 25 pound test mono. And you say 30 feet, that is an awful lot. Well, anytime you're using hardware such as planers or trolling sinkers, you really need to get 20, 20, 25 to 30 feet of leader back behind that hardware. Now up at the planer, we've got a croc swivel, snap on swivel, which is the dual ball bearing, stainless steel, all stainless steel swivel, and they are absolutely the best for this type of fishing because you get such a good rotation out of it. You don't have to worry about your line twisting up. And this is a Sea Striker planer. This is the smallest one they make, and this is just getting it down anywhere from six to eight feet down below the surface with our hand line attached to this ring. As the planer goes down, the ring sets up at the top like this. And when the fish hits the line, the ring pulls, to the, pulls forward and the planer pops up to the surface and that's how you know you've got a fish on. Croc swivels have a unique one-piece body construction.
Croc swivels are the ultimate in dual rotation. Generally, when we're trolling off the beach here for, uh, for bluefish and Spanish mackerel, we tend to stay out in that 20, 30, 35 feet of water range, you know, several hundred yards off the beach. And uh, we're keeping our eyes open. We're watching for birds. We're watching for fish breaking on top of the water. And one thing that you really want to keep in mind is trolling speed. I like to, I like to troll anywhere from six, seven, eight, eight knots. Um, you know, anywhere from in that five to ten mile an hour range. And generally, with our boat, if we turn anywhere from say 1,200 to 1,500 RPMs, we can achieve that speed we're looking for. This looks like one of the nicer fish so far. Croc swivels enable the angler to use smaller swivels without sacrificing strength. We just came across some schooling fish busting the top of the water, birds, bait shower, and all of that good stuff. What I've tried to do is try to circle, make a circle around that ball of bait so that we didn't disturb them, yet still able to circle around and pull our baits right through. We've got three lines up right now. We must have just come through a nice place of fish. Both our planers popped up. We've got one on right here. Oh, that makes, just had a big hit on the bird line, so that makes four. Let's see how many we can land. Nearshore trolling for Spanish mackerel and bluefish, or even king mackerel, dolphin, or other blue water species, line twists can be your number one enemy. We use crop swivels to avoid twists in our line. Number two. Coming over here for number three. And there's number three. If you want to have a productive day near shore trolling, use croc swivels. They will help you to eliminate the line twists, which can mean the difference between a great day and a day full of line tangles and line twists.